Do you mind if I ask you a personal question? Actually, I'd like to ask you three personal questions. First, how much are you worth? <laughs> I don't mean that in any financial sense, such as how much is your net worth. I mean, how much are you worth as a person? How much are you worth to the people who love you? How much are you worth to God who created you? Second, think of someone you love, a parent, a child, a spouse, a friend or relative. How much is that person worth? Again, not in a financial sense, but how much is that individual worth as a person? How much is that individual worth to you? How much is that individual worth to God who created him? Third, think of someone or some group you don't like. Maybe someone who's hurt you, or a group of people whose lifestyle you find offensive. How much are they worth? Maybe not to you, but how much are they worth to those who love them? And everyone is loved by someone. How much are they worth to God who created them? Especially if what is truly offensive in them were to change. I ask those questions because the basic message of my book, Heaven's Doors Wider Than You Ever Believed, is that in the eyes of God, you and every one of them are priceless. The book was awarded the Silver Medal in Theology in the 2018 Illumination Awards for Exemplary Christian Books. It's available in print, as an ebook, or as an audiobook on Amazon.com. Or you can go directly to my website, heavensdoors.net. I hope you'll be able to read it. You might be surprised to know that never ending suffering in hell was not the teaching of the early Christian church. It's not the teaching of the Bible, although most people today think it is. It is contrary to what is revealed in Scripture about the nature and character of God. When you think about how much you really are worth, maybe heaven's doors really are wider than you ever believed.